group of reproductive biology studies fertilization. The results are used to prepare new diagnostic tools for quality assessment and gamete selection to be utilized in centers of assisted reproduction. The group focuses on sperm maturation and sperm-egg interaction prior to gamete fusion, characterization of sperm antibodies in women and men, study of sperm quality in patients with diabetes mellitus, and selection of epigenetic markers associated with human infertility. Did you know that mammalian sperm are unable to fertilize an egg immediately after ejaculation? Before fertilization, they have to spend some time in the female reproductive tract and undergo a cascade of changes in a process called capacitation. In the lab, we use a special culture media and equipment to achieve this sperm maturation. Later, after the eggs are added, we can watch the fertilization occur in real time. The results of our research help to understand the processes which sperm and egg must undergo to achieve successful fertilization. Immunofluorescence methods are used to visualize the proteins present in sperm and egg, as well as to study their interaction and role during fertilization. Specialized fluorescence microscopes are used to capture photographs and videos. Proteins are the basic units of each cell, and they also play a crucial role in reproductive processes in gametes. The protein composition of sperm is very diverse and can activate the production of antibodies against sperm that can lead to infertility. One of our goals is to determine proteins present in the ejaculate that react with antibodies in the serum of infertile women. This approach should improve the quality of diagnostic tests and contribute to improved targeted treatment. The mouse model, in general, allows us to study the effect of metabolic diseases on male reproductive organs. Using molecular biology methods, we address civilization diseases that could have a negative impact on sperm quality and male fertility. Revealing the mechanisms of these disorders in mice helps us to understand, diagnose and prevent male infertility. The experimentally obtained results are further statistically analysed. We use cutting-edge graphical data processing that enables us to effectively share results with the international scientific community and wider public audience. Our main goal is to utilize the results of basic research in real-life situations to improve the quality of diagnostic tests and create new diagnostic kits to help to separate bad sperm from good. It requires a detailed understanding of the localization and behavior of selected proteins in the preparation of gametes for fertilization. This comprehensive approach will help to detect pathological conditions and contribute to the selection of appropriate treatments.